Prototype filters are electronic filter designs that are used as a template to produce a modified filter design for a particular application. They are an example of a non-dimensionalized design from which the desired filter can be scaled or transformed. They are most often seen in regard to electronic filters and especially linear analog passive filters. However, in principle, the method can be applied to any kind of linear filter or signal processing, including mechanical, acoustic and optical filters. Filters are required to operate at many different frequencies, impedances and bandwidths. The utility of a prototype filter comes from the property that all these other filters can be derived from it by applying a scaling factor to the components of the prototype. The filter design need thus only be carried out once in full, with other filters being obtained by simply applying a scaling factor. Especially useful is the ability to transform from one band form to another. In this case, the transform is more than a simple scale factor. Band form here is meant to indicate the category of pass band that the filter possesses. The usual band forms are low pass, high pass, band pass and band stop, but others are possible. In particular, it is possible for a filter to have multiple pass bands. In fact, in some treatments, the band stop filter is considered to be a type of multiple pass band filter having two pass bands. Most commonly, the prototype filter is expressed as a low-pass filter, but other techniques are possible. Parts of this article or section rely on the reader's knowledge of the complex impedance representation of capacitors and inductors and on knowledge of the frequency domain representation of signals. Low-pass prototype the prototype is most often a low-pass filter with a 3 dB corner frequency of angular frequency omega c equals 1 radian per second. Occasionally, frequency f equals 1 Hz is used instead of omega c equals 1. Likewise, the nominal or characteristic impedance of the filter is set to r equals 1 ohm. In principle, any non-zero frequency point on the filter response could be used as a reference for the prototype design. For example, for filters with ripple in the passband, the corner frequency is usually defined as the highest frequency at maximum ripple rather than 3 dB. Another case is in image parameter filters which use the cutoff frequency rather than the 3 dB point since cutoff is a well-defined point in this type of filter. The prototype filter can only be used to produce other filters of the same class and order. For instance, a fifth-order Bessel filter prototype can be converted into any other fifth-order Bessel filter, but it cannot be transformed into a third-order Bessel filter or a fifth-order Chebyshev filter. Frequency Scaling the prototype filter is scaled to the frequency required with the following transformation, where omega c is the value of the frequency parameter for the prototype and omega c is the desired value. So if omega c equals 1 then the transfer function of the filter is transformed as it can readily be seen that to achieve this, the non-resistive components of the filter must be transformed by and impedance scaling. Impedance scaling is invariably a scaling to a fixed resistance. This is because the terminations of the filter, at least nominally, are taken to be a fixed resistance. To carry out this scaling to be a nominal impedance R, each impedance element of the filter is transformed by. It may be more convenient on some elements to scale the admittance instead. It can readily be seen that to achieve this, the non-resistive components of the filter must be scaled as. And, impedance scaling by itself has no effect on the transfer function of the filter. However, it is usual to combine the frequency and impedance scaling into a single step and band form transformation. In general, the band form of a filter is transformed by replacing I omega where it occurs in the transfer function with the function of I omega. This in turn leads to the transformation of the impedance components of the filter into some other component. The frequency scaling above is a trivial case of band form transformation corresponding to a low-pass to low-pass transformation.
low pass to high pass the frequency transformation required in this case is where omega c is the point on a high pass filter corresponding to omega c on the prototype the transfer function then transforms is. Inductors are transformed into capacitors according to, and capacitors are transformed into inductors, the primed quantities being the component value in the prototype. Low pass to band pass in this case, the required frequency transformation is, where Q is the Q factor and is equal to the inverse of the fractional bandwidth. If omega 1 and omega 2 are the lower and upper frequency points of the band pass response corresponding to omega c of the prototype, then, and delta omega is the absolute bandwidth, and omega 0 is the resonant frequency of the resonators in the filter. Note that frequency scaling the prototype prior to low pass to band pass transformation does not affect the resonant frequency but instead affects the final bandwidth of the filter. The transfer function of the filter is transformed according to inductors are transformed into series resonators and capacitors are transformed into parallel resonators. Low pass to band stop The required frequency transformation for low pass to band stop is Inductors are transformed into parallel resonators and capacitors are transformed into series resonators. Low pass to multiband filters with multiple pass bands may be obtained by applying the general transformation. The number of resonators in the expression corresponds to the number of pass bands required. Low pass and high pass filters can be viewed as special cases of the resonator expression with one or the other of the terms becoming zero as appropriate. Band stop filters can be regarded as a combination of a low pass and a high pass filter. Multiple band stop filters can always be expressed in terms of a multiple band pass filter. In this way it can be seen that this transformation represents the general case for any band form, and all the other transformations are to be viewed as special cases of it. The same response can equivalently be obtained, sometimes with a more convenient component topology, by transforming to multiple stop bands instead of multiple pass bands. The required transformation in those cases is alternative prototype. In his treatment of image filters, Zobel provided an alternative basis for constructing a prototype which is not based in the frequency domain. The Zobel prototypes do not, therefore, correspond to any particular band form, but they can be transformed into any of them. Not giving special significance to any one band form makes the method more mathematically pleasing, however, it is not in common use. The Zobel prototype considers filter sections, rather than components. That is, the transformation is carried out on a two-port network rather than a two-terminal inductor or capacitor. The transfer function is expressed in terms of the product of the series impedance, Z, and the shunt admittance Y of a filter half-section. See the article image impedance for a description of half-sections. This quantity is non-dimensional, adding to the prototype's generality. Generally, Zy is a complex quantity, and as U and V are both, in general, functions of omega we should properly write, with image filters. It is possible to obtain filters of different classes from the constant K filter prototype by means of a different kind of transformation. Constant K being those filters for which Zy is a constant. For this reason, filters of all classes are given in terms of U for a constant K, which is notated as, in the case of dissipationless networks, i.e., no resistors, the quantity V is zero and only U need be considered. UK ranges from zero at the center of the passband to minus one at the cutoff frequency and then continues to increase negatively into the stop band regardless of the band form of the filter being designed. To obtain the required band form, the following transforms are used. For a low-pass constant K prototype that is scaled, the independent variable of the response plot is, the band form transformations from this prototype are, for low-pass, for high-pass, and for band-pass. Bibliography 
Zabel, OJ, theory and design of uniform and composite electric wave filters, Bell Systems Technical Journal, Volume 2, pp. 1-46. Zibel, O.J., Electrical Wave Filters, U.S. Patent 1,850,146, filed the 25th of November 1930, issued the 22nd of March 1932, gives many useful formulae in a non-frequency domain basis for defining prototypes. Math A.A., Young, Jones Microwave Filters, Impedance Matching Networks, and Coupling Structures McGraw-Hill 1964, Farago, P.S., An Introduction to Linear Network Analysis, English Universities Press, 1961.